So we're going to evaluate determinants by row deduction. Yeah, the proof's just the sentence. If you use the row of zeros as your cofactors of A, you're just adding a bunch of zeros, you get zero. Yeah, you can use any row or any column to find the determinant. So a row of A of T will be the same as a column of A or, and vice versa. You get the same answer no matter what, it's gonna have the same determinant. So we're going to look at the three ways of reducing a matrix. This one's best seen as an example. So basically, if you want to factor out that 5, you have to put it in the front. That's what it says. And so let's calculate both of these to make sure it's right. Yep. So normally, when you're row reducing to solve and you multiply by a constant or you divide by a constant, it does not affect the solution. But here, when you multiply one row, it does affect the determinant. So even though it's affected by multiplying one row by a constant, this is our other elementary operation. If B results from A, when a multiple of one row is added to another, or the columns, then the determinants are not affected, actually. Let's look at an example. So our first row operation. So they're equal, see that? The last one we already saw in the last video. So if you swap two rows, they're off by a negative. So they're the same when you put a negative in front there. A little examples. Let's find 3a. So when I multiply 3 by a, it's the matrix. Everything gets multiplied by 3. So we got 9. Again, we multiplied 3 by the matrix, and that's how you multiply. Remember, it goes to every single component. If I start with this, I pull out a 3 on the top, I pull out a 3 on the bottom, then you can calculate. So that's another way to calculate it. That's the way I was talking about. Pull out 2, you got to pull out 3 squared. So of course you can find the determinant of the left, find the determinant of the right, and then see if they're equal, but can anyone tell quickly by looking? Well, let's look and see what I did. So I swapped two rows, which means they should be off by a negative, but what else did I do? Put that negative there. Ooh, I pulled out a negative. That's my constant. You don't have to really worry. Pulled out a negative. So yeah, they are the same. That's my actually little trick. I do that commonly. Anytime I want to exchange rows, anytime I want to exchange rows for whatever reason, when I'm doing the determinant, I always, I don't care if it gives me an extra negative because I don't like to have things out here. <laughs> and so anytime I exchange, I always find row. It could be any row. Distribute a negative into it. Then I have two negatives, which is positive. It doesn't change the determinant. That's my little trick that I like to use. Okay, good. Have a good day.